Everybody, uh, Quad Nines here with another edition of Late Night Packs. Still cracking Dragon's Maze. Um, I don't know, we got to go by my uh, my shop today. They have standard on Wednesday night. I didn't get to stay, like, playing the actual event, but, you know, we, we play tested a good bit beforehand. I was playing a, um, the uh, blue, uh, red, white, uh, Geist list that, um, I don't, it's, one finished like third or fourth on NCG, like the first weekend of Dragon Maze Standard. It's a list similar to that, except for, I don't have, I've only got two Rawls Eric, I'm running a couple of Jace, Architect Thought, uh, one Memory Adept in there, just randomly. And I only have the one, um, Boil Shreckener. I've got Thunderbolt Hellcat in there, which is kind of a stretch since they only have like 23 lands. But, uh, I hit five mana pretty regular, so, a lot of draw in there, a lot of draw. But uh, it's a pretty fun deck to play, so I don't know. Maybe I'll do a deck take on it if I can get a couple more cards like I want. One for the packs. Bronze Beak Moa. This guy's really good and limited. Hunter Knight. It looks like he flies. He does not fly. Just so you know. Um, Vito on Draft Magic was like, oh, he flies. I'll take him. And they're like, he doesn't fly. He's like, how can he not fly? Look at him. But, you know. He's uh, minus one minus out of the other guy, so not bad. And I've n yet to trigger this guy. I played two of him in a deck, and I was really just splashing white for this guy and like uh, angelic edict, I think. And had a bunch of burn and never do end up when he was on the field. So he's just a five three. Yes, all right, but have not triggered him yet. And hey, Sire of Insanity. Awesome. I had uh, one Russian one. But they had a little nick on it. Just a little nick. So I'm going to keep it, of course. This one probably for trade. Just, just saying. Hey, a Gilgate. Yeah, can't get enough of those Gilgates. Yay. So, um, I don't know if, uh, how many of y'all actually play on uh, Magic Online or at least watch videos from, like, you know, Channel Fireball or, like, a Draft Magic or somewhere like that. You know, those, those are the drafts. And they actually have a, a format, which is Triple Dragon's Maze. I guess just so people can crack a bunch of packs in, dra in draft, you know, so they don't just, like, waste in value. But it's a very weird format. Like, you can go basically, like, you know, five or six gates, a bunch of clue stones, and uh, just play your big bombs because it's a, kind of a clunky format. Like, you can get the aggro deck, but generally it's like who's got the biggest bombs and everything. It's just a uh, – it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. There's some interesting games. A lot of, a lot of combat math, strange as that is. And coming for this one, Warp Physique, awesome, awesome card in control. Uh, Spike Jester, yeah. Goblin Test Bot, so I got a Goblin Warrior and a Goblin Wizard. Bam, Advent of the Worm. What's up? So, Advent of the Worm, Gilgate. Yay, I actually like this card. Uh, makes me want to play Bant, too. I got so many decks I want to play. Like, um, some friends of mine are going to Nashville to the SCG this weekend, and I think they borrowed, like, 45 cards from me. And I've got a list of what they grabbed. It was a lot, so. I have, like, one deck. Not that I get to play much, but I've got one deck right now, and the rest of the thing, like, pieced out. So hopefully they will. And, uh, anyway. Uh, trust me, I have not put my binder video up. I do, I made a new binder video, um, so I just haven't uploaded it. Just haven't had a good connection lately at work. But uh, I've been looking out for that, and uh, hopefully I'll get some, I'm, I'm thinking about getting a box and getting that box mapping app. I think I mentioned this before, and like doing it in a video, just to see if it works. It probably won't work, it'll be horrible. But uh, I, don't know, I might try that out if I can get a little, little bit of extra dough around to get another box. So anyway. Thanks for watching. Um, pretty decent pools. Sire of Insanity, Evan of the Worm, you know, two of the better rares. So, anyway, how's it going? Everybody, uh, Quad Nines here with a not so late night packs. It's actually afternoon for once. I uh, want my target to uh, look up some other stuff and uh, just grab a couple packs. And then I uh, went to talk to one of my uh, friends who also plays Magic and he proceeded to tell me about how bad value it is cracking packs. I'm like, yeah, I know. Sorry. So sometimes I, I need old packs. Uncommon, we've got a bronze big moa, a haunter of Nightvale, 
Down and Dirty, which I've been getting a lot. And the Power Wild Shaman. Boo. Very boo. Like, even if I like plain red, I generally don't. If I do, it's not that kind of red. You know what I'm saying? So it's just. Oh. Sure, that we'll get something. You store the piece. Hey, I did do one of these. A turn and burn card is very good. I like it a lot. Um, Blast of Genius. If you haven't seen the new uh, LSD draft video with him and Ben Stark talking about this, it's, it's quite hilarious. You need to watch it. It's on Channel Fireball right now. So. Siren Sandy. I've been getting a lot of Siren Sandy, which is not a bad thing. And a foil thrashing moss dog. Uh, don't want to tell the Shockland. It's the Azores Gate. Okay, well, Siren Sandy and a foal. And a fairly unplayable red and rare. Not the worst, not the best. Um, I did put my trade binder up. If you haven't seen it yet, check it out. And uh, hit me up with offers. Thanks. Hey everybody, it's uh, Quad Nines back with a little different uh, late night pack edition. It's going to be for kind of in honor of the Pro Tour Dragons maze going on. I've opened up one of each and uh, kind of give you my top couple picks. This was my pack for draft. Um, now granted, since you know you don't know what you're going to get fast and wheel and all that, I'm not, I'll take slight account into what is in, like say, Dragon's Maze, what I take out of this for my next pack and so on, but not strictly like there's a card that's just a lot better. I'll, I would probably just say take it because it's not exactly like you do it, I suppose. I don't know. I guess you could go over all these. Uh, Mending Touch, Unplayable, Clue Stone, Clue Stone, Torture, Make Ladder, Clue Stone, all the Clue Stones, uh, Clear Path, Never, um, Moss Dog, uh, Weapon Surge, Spike Gesture, Hunter of Night Veil, vale, Give and Take, and the rare is Catch and Release. With it is it Gilgate? Um, let me see. Okay, probably not taking Clue Stone first, like, like ever. Like they're not bad. They're very playable cards, obviously, but just not something to take first. As uh, weapon served either. And Gilgates are somewhat defendable, but not really. Um, so this is kind of what we're looking at here. Um, I'm usually not in Racto, so I'm going to take the Spike Gesture out, although it's a very good card. Um, it's not quite the aggro I usually like to play. Um, card very good, but also going to pass on it first. Uh, these guys will be there. There's usually you can pick these up, you know, six or seven. It's common. Um, same with this guy. I really like this card, but... Even though this puts us clearly in it two or three colors, not bad. Um, it's hard to say for me. Um, I think this is always going to be good, and I do tend to play either Grixis, Esper, or Is It. I mean, I'm always playing blue, so actually the Haunter would have been a good too. But this card, um, you're very rarely going to cast the full nine to you know kind of two for them I guess or yeah two for them. Um but you know you can use this on any permanent if they have a bomb, just take it. If you have some kind of sack outlet, it gets even better like this, but if you take it for turn, use it and then sack it. Um also this just you know follow if they've only got one really good creature in play. Uh although it does say he's supposed to sacrifice as an artifact, a creature, an enchantment, a land, and a planeswalker. So yeah, they didn't have much in play, you could really get them with that. But uh, not to mention, you can live the dream of discarding this to Blast of Genius, which um, you know, deals with 9, because it counts both meta cost. Uh, I might go with Matt Bell Spectre, the one they have, or Matt Bell, I'm sorry. But I'd probably try the rare. You know, you don't play with all the rares that much, and it's a threat effect for 3 mana. Uh, they can do more stuff as far as still. I don't know, that really wasn't... Um, my favorite Dragon's Maze pack to look at. Like, even the Common Run just wasn't. When the Dragon's had been like a tie character in there, I'd, I'd take it, probably no problem. Or even uh, even the 2 1 Trampler, I'd consider it. On to uh, the 
gate crash. Okay, so we got the Sprite, the Smite, Last Mustaf, Slaughterhorn, not playable. Just that. Skill Gates, totally lost. Oh, God. Skin Ring Goblin. Raptor Mutation's good. Uh, big Cyclops, probably not. Um, Hellraiser Goblin. Enter the Infinite. Mythic, awesome, not playable <laughs> at all in um, limited. So, uh, probably not taking that. Okay, so I quickly um, narrowed them down to these, depending on what you're thinking. Uh, just kind of basing it off of what. Um, Maybe we took in, in Gate Crash. Like I said, I do like to go Is It Sometimes or Grixis. Uh, I'm probably going to not say Slaughter Horn, even though I really like the card and Smite. Um, probably not the first pick for me in that case. But if I knew I was, you know, Orta, obviously, or any big white, Smite's not bad, but aggressive deck's not really. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to go down to the blue cards on this one. Uh, kind of take your pick on these. I really like the cheap flyer. You can do a lot of things, especially if you um, have any blue cipher cards. Really get something there. Probably take the sprite. I really like rapid hybridization too, but uh, especially if you can kind of bounce. You know, you're kind of taking two cards out to make it a token and then bounce it, but you know, you can do it across a couple turns. Uh, maybe they invest more on the token. Uh, but hey, it did open Mythic. There's Infinite, which. Let's see some play in a couple decks. Um, so I'm going to the last one. I'm trying to wrap it. Hopefully I get to start slam picking this. And I will say that um, the few times I've live drafted, I don't really red draft all that much. But uh, as a general rule, if it pays for the draft, I usually take it. So, say I was completely not in blue-white and I open the face revelation. Slam it. If I'm not in green or black and I open the death rush, I'm going to probably still take it. Because I'm bad, but yeah, but pace for the event, probably do it. Okay, no, no, maybe, maybe, no, no, possibly, no, nope, mm, maybe, nope, Sliverhead, no, uh, okay, okay, that's probably, oh, see, Death Rush Shaman. Awesome pick, by the way. I mean, awesome pack, by the way. Death Rush Shaman. So, oh yeah, definitely picking that over some of this stuff. Or that. Or that. So, just strictly drafting. Um, I mean, yeah, if I was in Black X or whatever, I'd probably just take this. I'm probably taking this anyway. Just, you know, it's worth more than $10. And it's very playable. Pretty good in draft, I mean, limited anyway, because you can always eat stuff for, you know, paying them for two or gaining life. Can ramp you if, like, say, you have some sort of discard, like Grizzly Savage, whatever. Um, generally, though, uh, you, if you have any way to play it, you probably never play it past this card. If they don't kill it, like, in a turn or two, you just win. It just, it, it's that good. Um, but I'm screwed up, so I'll probably take Death Rush Shaman anyway, because it's, it's worth a lot, and... To be honest, by that time, um, if I'm not in Selesnia, I don't know. I, don't, I can't. You can't jump into Selesnia with one pack to go. So you have to be really heavy, white or green, end up with splash it pretty consistently. Um, and like I said, from low packs, we're saying I'd be like American Colors. Maybe it just isn't, or you know, maybe Grixis. Which actually, this is not bad in a Grixis deck at all. Just saying. So. Uh, don't know how beneficial that was, but uh, I don't know, it's kind of fun. And I want to open up packs. So I did. Um, just something you like to see me do. Maybe go for like a sealed deck type thing, or maybe just one pack. I don't know, let me know in the comments, see what you like. I'm, you know, I'm open to anything. I'm going to try and get another box of Dragon Maze pretty soon. I don't know what the values are there, but, you know, they've still got some at my store. So uh, we'll see if we can try that. So, said until next time. Thanks. Hey everybody, uh, Quad Nine's back again. Some more packs. One Stride, one uh, Dragon's Maze. 
So, um, there's a good chance you're watching this as the third or fourth in a string of um, openings I put on one video because I uh, had some videos not upload correctly. And I said just re redoing each one of them, I thought I'd just throw them all together. So, anyway, you get more packs for just one video. So, not the worst thing. Which one? You can't really tell me, but, um, Mmm, gonna open this right. Should be something good in there. Um, my wallet's been slacking. I like, haven't been carried. Probably any packs. They did get some extra packs in. They had one left, so I grabbed it. Um, they've got like, I don't know, they got a bunch of M13 stuff and, uh, build, deck builders toolkits and, I don't know, they've got some gate crash. Just very little dragon's maze and nothing anything else. So, you know, it's interesting. I wish they'd get some more stuff. Actually, probably better they don't. That's my house, man. Okay, so we've got a boneyard worm. A, uh, what's that? Gallows warden. A moan of the unhallowed and rare. It's a bad one. A stinks in a blood hall. The worst art. Mm. Arguably the worst of the utility lands of this block. There's Grim Backwoods, which is yeah, at least you have a nine creature for that thing. Oh, we got something sweet. Oh, got a got something. Got a grizzled outcast and a land and a foil grave bramble. Pro zombies defender. Because, you know, nature pours a zombie or something like that. You can't see it. There it is. It says it. it's very, man, flavor text, but whatever. So, under Dragon's Maze. Um, I'm making this one after Kurtor Dragon's Maze, so Craig Wesco one. And uh, it's pretty, pretty interesting deck. Yeah, just, they called it, it's kind of like kind of white weenie, but it played, um, played green as well. He played voice. And, um, I want to drive nothing, which could be off either one. And uh, even had judges familiar with Civic Saber, which was kind of interesting. But, uh, okay, so I've been, I first picked this a couple times. Only to be cut off and have to jump in like red or something like that. But, uh, it's a really good card in case you haven't played with it. Okie dokie. Uncommons. Bronze Big Mo, which is also first pickable. A Carnage Gladiator, um, every game I've played him, I have won. If I draw him, that is. Because, you know, by turn four, if I'm playing aggressive red, black, red, white, black, have three or four guys out and just swing, you know. And then this guy swings and he's got regeneration up. So, like, they're they're taking some and probably losing a guy every turn. It's really, really not bad if you can be ahead when you drop him. It's pretty good. Uh, what's this? Uh, wear and tear. I usually grab one of these just because it's always good to have your sideboard. It's almost never completely dead. Catch and release. Yeah, I didn't need any more of those. I've got a bunch of this guy. Got it in Russian. We have it in foil. I don't remember. But uh, it seems alright enough. But not what we wanted. Sad face. So, two meh warriors. Very, very bad. But I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm thinking about getting a box of Dragon's Maze this week. But it's Modern Masters. It's just a couple weeks away. So I might just save and possibly get an extra box of that. I don't know. Um, from what I know right now, my store is going to have them for well less than 200 for me. Uh, so, I don't know. From the value, uh, like even the low estimates on the values of the boxes, I think it'll be worth it just to grab some of those. Even if I like, just don't open a box. Just open one and then just keep one sealed for, I don't know why. I don't see myself ever really losing out on it. Worst case is you know, six months, a year from now, I can get, you know, seven guys together, and we can, they can pay me like 30 bucks and we'll draft. I don't know, something. But uh, anyway, uh, so hopefully this is, hasn't been the most boring set of videos, and you've made it all the way through. And if you have, uh, check out my channel for other stuff, and, uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe, that whole deal. Thanks for watching.